not too glamorous side of television sports commentary that you people at home don't see. This is the media stand here at Prince's Park. It's a woeful construction built on these rusty scaffolds that stood here for many years. A succession of Carlton presidents from George Harris right back in the mid-60s right through to the new president, John Elliott, have all promised to replace or at least upgrade this facility. Today's game between Carlton and Melbourne is being covered by ABC2 and by HSV7. The commentators are working in woeful conditions, the rain beating in on them, and as they've been complaining for years, nothing has been done about it. Under a leaking tin roof and sheltered by soaking canvas were our intrepid commentary team of Sandy Roberts and Bobby Skilton. With the rain driving in, it was impossible to refer to their soggy notes or in fact even sit down. Wet equipment, cold, wet cameramen and dreadful working conditions have been the norm at Carlton on wintry afternoons for many years. The conditions might have improved out on the field for the players and up in the stands for the VIPs, but for the men from the Seven Network and from the ABC, the conditions at Carlton continue to deteriorate. Well, we would have liked to have been sitting down today, but unfortunately, you know, everything's wet in here and the seats were wet. And, uh, but it's, uh, you know, we're in the same conditions as the players. We know exactly how they feel out there today. Alongside the television scaffold lies the vintage press box with its two cramped radio booths. 3UZ's Kevin Bartlett, Mike Williamson and the immense bulk of the whale, Brian Roberts, made movement difficult. Add to these cramped surroundings the difficult visibility and you begin to understand how decrepit the facilities are. It wasn't a good afternoon at Prince's Park and the crowd of 17,000 found various ways of keeping dry and warm. For some, like Melbourne coach Ron Barassi, the rain merely cooled down the temper. To be fair, Carlton has promised again to upgrade their radio, newspaper and more importantly their television facilities. They've done so for more than 20 years. This comes in the face of a proposed black ban by radio stations in 1985. President John Elliott had this to say. Well we're planning at the end of this season to uh, build a new grandstand on that wing. I imagine looking at you they weren't too good there today but uh, we've certainly got it in hand and we're going to have the best grandstand on that wing for supporters of football you've seen and the media will certainly have a very very good uh, setup. Marvellous to hear that John Elliott. I wonder if he's changed